And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a legendary Malphite run. So just like we had the legendary Zillion run recorded before, I'm going to go ahead and record this run on legendary mode with Malphite. That was the champion that y'all were asking for whenever I did Zillion last time. So this is going to be our second recording. I am planning, like I said before, I am planning on doing a legendary run with each one of the champions and having it up there on YouTube for y'all for hopefully like a little walkthrough um, if you're struggling with the champion to be able to uh, give you some ideas of like powers to take and, and cards to choose and strategies to use and so on for uh, fighting through legendary. Um, which legendary is tough and Malphite is not an easy champion. You do not get to start with a very good card pool Let's go ahead and get to what you have. So you have um, Not very much early, you know, like Malphite's expensive But then you have a bunch of other expensive cards like over half the deck costs four plus mana So this is a tough champion to go with um, really you only one one drop with chip blue sentinels like you're only two that affects the board no three that affects the board you know, only Earth Elemental at four even that affects the board. So like this is <laughs> this is a, a really, really high curve that you're starting with. So therefore, because of this high curve, I think that there's really one best power to use. And it's the same one we use with Zillion, to be honest. But Mana Flow is going to be the best power that you can have um, with Malphite. So if you're on Malphite, struggling on Legendary, this is the power that I recommend because you you start the game, you get an empty mana gem, so you get to start with two mana on round one. So that means round two, you have three mana, round four, round three, you have four mana, and so on. So you get an additional mana every single round. That is just a very large amount of mana to have throughout your game, and that's really, really useful. Um, just mana is the resource that uh, Legends of Runeterra is built around. And you know, it's, you know, how much mana can you spend? How much mana worth of cards can you spend? So getting, getting a power like this, that um, allows you to uh, just have an, much more mana than what you usually should have access to is incredibly powerful. And so whenever you're looking at your um, card upgrades and everything like that, looking for card upgrades that also reduce the cost of cards, and, and some of them will maybe let you have zero mana cards and things like that, those are all going to be really, really powerful and things that we're going to look for. Uh, but let's, let's go ahead and start with Mana Flow here on Legendary Mode. Okay, and we're going to start with the spiders. All right, here we go. We want our ones and twos. Okay, start to peak is a very good card to start off with, and we want to start with that over the chip because we want to get the countdown going. Even if I would have had that plus, like the, um, let's throw you out there, block because they they attack immediately here. Um, if I would have had that plus the team at two three, I'd lead with the start to peak, so that this next upcoming round, round three, we can have our celestials to play. Hopefully, something cool. Okay, well we got one one cool card, I guess, with the Charger. But the Charger doesn't really work against Spiderlings that well. But I guess it's what we got. Charger is a very good blocker against the Arachnoidor. I'm glad we got um, the Valfeast out of their hand. Taking another three, going to 26. The spiders are more important than the fearsome things. They have the ability to buff up the spiders with some different cards. Still need one more landmark to really enable these other cards of ours. Wow. 
One more landmark. There we go. That's not good. Maybe that should be an Equinox right here. I want to get that landmark in for the Stone Breaker. I can still Equinox this other Spiderling. I'm just going to get the attack for 12 in right now first. So I'll put him down to 1 and then Stone Breaker finish, it, finish the job. thing is they can vile feast their own okay I was gonna say they could maybe vile feast their own thing all right there's a prediction up for will we beat thresh with 15 plus health zoe zoe is amazing nocturne's very good too though i i take nocturne a lot i really like nocturne um nocturne you get you get a, a one drop so that's that's always very important getting a one drop doom beast heal your nexus that's very important and then you know nocturne's just fine so like this is a champion that i choose a lot um that, that shows up a lot um so I, I like it quite a bit i don't really like zed because the other two cards with zed are really not very good um but zoe's like the best champion um we're at 26 currently yeah um because zoe you get you know not only zoe space sketcher yeah zoe is it's always like tier one, <laughs> you know, S tier, whatever you want to call it. All right, so we got Zoe. And Mulligan. I could see keeping the spiral stairs. Good. Because we want Star Tip Peak, right? Because we want a landmark to go along um, with Chip. Zoe's pretty fortunate for us to hit. Um, let's get the Spiral Stars going. Moonsilver. Moonsilver sounds good. So we spend two mana to save a mana. I guess that's not the best trade. Zoe will probably need a little bit of health. We don't really want to block with Zoe. Earth Elemental, you can block. Oh no. Um, I guess I, we're gonna go Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Stun that. We're gonna take some damage here. Taking some damage. Mm. So giving the the plus three plus two to to Zoe means that it gets to block other things more efficiently. That's number eight. Nine. 
I should have had I should have had the challenger last probably. Well, that works pretty well. All right, let's have you challenge you, you challenge you, you challenge you. Give them all challenger. All right, I'll take Golden Sister to give us a chance. For the Believers. But it's really just the best play anyway, right? Like, just just for in general. Like, I know like we had the the wager there of people betting to win. Uh, for us having a nexus of more than fifteen health, but it's just the best play for surviving thrash is to just get get the nexus healing. You know, don't don't be at fourteen at the beginning of the next round. All right, that should put us at 30 life heading into Thrash. Zoe is busted. And Zoe has, like, some really, really high upside potential with the powers. Can we get, like, Zoe with Scout? Oh, yeah. Scout Zoe. Can we get whenever we cast a spell, give our champion plus one, plus one? Zoe? Um, okay, not very good. When I'm usually when I'm summoned, refill my mana equal to my cost is a really good power. But with that with that being on Zoe, not as good. We could do when I'm summoned, draw a card, or we can do the plus one plus one. And I so I guess we just do the plus one plus one so it doesn't die to one damage things. I guess we just do that. Um, not very good, but I don't want to reroll. Starspring, Giddy Sparkyologist, and King Jarvan. Well, I like Giddy Sparkyologist. We're gonna go with that. Especially with Zoe. Like, I like Giddy Sparkyologist with Zoe. Yeah, I just don't. I just want a third copy of Zoe in the deck, right? Like, it does. Like, <laughs> we were a Malphite run the first round, but we're just not a Malphite run anymore. Yeah, King Jarvan. <laughs> I've been getting um, the the dragons a lot, you know, like where uh, the dragons clutch. I see that one that one a lot, where it's you know the draw two dragons or give your dragons plus one plus one, and we just don't have any dragons, and it's like, why do I? Why am I getting this? Ooh, Iron Harbinger. That's a real card. This is a star for them. It's a real star. So we're down to 23. All right, Spirit Leech is usually a little easier to kill. Be trouble bubbles. Mm. I 
guess Trickster. Yeah, I guess it's Trickster. I'm definitely thinking about the moon, you know, the moon glow for Zoe, but I guess it's just Trickster. Trying to, trying to get to ten cards with Zoe, right? So like, instead of having Spacey Sketcher discard the Super Cool Star Charts again, you know, we could actually cast Super Cool Star Chart to get another one for ten for Zoe. These old eyes still see for the level up. Always like zero cost cards. You know, that's number seven. Maybe we should kind of wait on that. Alright, eight. I, oh, I can't play. Oh, I, don't, I don't have enough for Charger than Trickster. That'd be ten. I've already played Messenger, though. I haven't played Sleep Sleepy Trouble Bubble, so I could do I could do that. Get everything overwhelmed. Alright, so if I challenge here, that should be lethal. There we go. Okay. 23 health. Let's get some more powers. Maybe we get uh, Von Yip's Genius. No, not that good. Start of the game, summon Emperor's dies. Okay, that's good. Frostbite the strongest enemy. I kind of like this start of the game, summon the Emperor's dies, because... It's a landmark, right? So, like, we're summoning a landmark at the beginning of the game for our, our landmark cards. And then with Zoe doing all this attacking... Because we are attacking with Zoe a lot, and that does just put more pressure on them with just, like, that 1-1 one, one coming in all the time. Um, so it's it's that or the hold them off. Hold them off also, though, can really slow the game down, and maybe that's what we... Maybe hold hold them off is the more responsible card to take, getting a, you know, a frostbite every single round. Um... Yeah, let's let's go with the hold them off. Yeah, that's that's just a better card. That's just a better thing to do. Hmm. All right, these cards aren't good. I guess it's Bastion, but I don't really see Bastion doing that much. But I guess it's Bastion. I just want to save the rerolls for for more impactful things. So, your rerolls, um, whenever you have like the cards that also have powers on them, that's whenever you can get you can get some really really good rerolls with those. So we wanted to save those. All right, let's find Zoe. Oh no, Chip. Someone. Well, we'll get start tip peak started. Not the worst. Not the worst turn one. All right, Space Sketcher. Already found a good use for that Bastion. Turn Bastion into the Serpent. All right, so this is working out just fine so far. Two landmarks in. Holding on to the Serpent because we could draw Zoe right here, that then the Serpent would start you know, adding on towards the 10. Fresh tracks. Gotcha. Yeah, I guess he got me. All right, they get to draw a card, but now we frostbite other stuff. Uh, it, it's probably worth it just getting that thing out of here. Looks like we're going to be using this Moon Silver on the Malphite. Yeah, 
that's so fun. I mean, I could Moon Silver Crescent Strike and stun those things, but I'll just wait. I guess I could have double Moon Silvered Malphite this round. Couldn't have, couldn't have time. I guess you could do the same with Sejuani of just like, will we win with 15 health? That sounds good. That's, you know, like half the health. If you want to bump it up to 20, you can, I guess. That'd be tough. I think 15's fair, though. I think that's, I think that's a pretty fair line. Let's go. All right, rewarded for not using Moonsilver on... Anything else? I am very strong like a mountain because I am a mountain. Yeah, you can. I was seeing like, should Earth Elemental attack? And the answer is, yeah, it can attack. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't attack. Alright, so I want the Moon Glow on the Zoe to help have it not die to Rhyming Wolf. But we're gonna be stunning for a little bit. Yeah, let's stun. Yeah, let's just do that. I think that's better than Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Oh no, they have that thing to challenge also! Everything has challenger over there! They're hunters! So many challengers. All right, well, Moon Glow not looking so good. Not so good. Stonebreaker, what are you doing? Breaking some stones. Hanging out. I mean, Malphite looks like he's breaking stones. Could take. Oh, never mind. We're gonna stun the, the first. Day. I was gonna say we could take a good amount of damage here to save Ryan Ping. Wolfie, we'll actually, we're never mind. We're frostbiting that thing and stunning these. Never mind. We're, we're good. We good. All right, targeting the wolf because it actually kills the wolf. It's four damage. Four damage doesn't kill either of those. Stun him. Stay still. And see, in, in this card from Zoe, also just helps. Uh, Malphite helps with the stunning of, of everything. So Sleepy Trouble Bubble, helping out. All right, we got 27 life. First level done. I think we're going to be going with the Solari Sunforger, just a way to be able to heal our Nexus. Um, you know, it also has tough, which is pretty nice too. But just you know, getting getting some life steal in the deck always really, really important, and it's just a good body for mana card. So this is going to be our pick. Um, I this is going to be a good spot for a reroll, I think. It's like this is where, like, especially re like we have some like really good cards in our deck that we want to get some reinforcements on. None of these are really it. Okay, so no Zoe reroll. Um, I kind of like overwhelm chip just to get more chips in the deck. Star tip peak not bad, but quick attack on this thing not bad either. Um, I guess we could just get more life steal in the deck with getting another one of these four drops in there. 
That's probably just not a bad idea. For just staying alive over a long period of time, just getting more 5 power, you know, like a lifesteal thing with then tough and quick attack. That's probably just a, a good idea. Okay. Yeah, Solari for the heal. And now, and now it'll just be a good, it'll just be a good threat, right? Like a 5-4 quick attack tough. <laughs> but it'll also heal Nexus for 5. And it's going to be a good card. Right, I'll keep, I'll keep the Peak also. So we'll keep the Peak and the Sunforger. No, we can mulligan Sunforger. We need to, we want to find Zoe. Because we have three Sunforgers in the deck, right? We'll find another one. Maybe. No. Frostbiting my Zoe. That's not cool. Alright, let's get Spiral Stairs going. That Countdown 3 is just so much. So many turns. Hey, look at that. And we're at 25. That's like a perfect time to heal for 5. So I was originally doing that so I could behold a Celestial for Giddy Sparkyologist. But then that 4-1 like ends up being like a very good blocker, so we're just gonna go ahead and use it as that. Just another winter. I feel like I should do it on this thing instead of on Zoe. Yeah, probably. Sunforger is going to be doing work for us. We don't even... Uh, what the, that Equinox on one of these things? Actually, yeah, Equinox is a good card here. We don't even really look like um, the same kind of deck anymore. So I think they're going to be playing Star Mother Varenna this round. You know, six mana. And so that's why I wanted the Equinox for Star Mother. I guess they still have the Scar Grounds, though. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Another fine star. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you have to imagine they're doing that block. And then we'll just stun it. And then that should be game. Because then we got the Overwhelm with the Sunforger. Okay. Our deck's looking good. I, I think that was, between these last two games, that was just a, a really important card to get there. That's Solari Sunforger with those keywords. Um, that's I think that's a big deal. Oh, man. I, I like Sunburst. But one mana Sunblessed Vigor? Also pretty good. Don't really care about Ghost. Um, Sunburst, though... You know, they can get some. There can be some big units that are really annoying. So, like, just six mana kill, like, Vic, you know, like, like that six mana kill Victor, right? Like, that's 
that can be really worth it against a, you know that six mana kill Sejuani, kill Victor, kill you know kill anything. Uh, so one mana Sunblast Vigor to protect Zoe or have a removal spell for everything. I think we gotta take the removal spell. That's just gonna help us not die so much. Oh, look at this. A land I've never seen this. This portal, when I'm summoned, someone to copy me. We get two spiral stairs for the cost of one. I've never seen that. I kinda wanna take that. I think I wanna take that. Yeah, get get an additional copy of me. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that. So yeah, we got six mana slow speed vengeance. And get an additional copy of Spiral Stairs. The problem with that, of course, is that means that we have Spiral Stairs in our deck, I guess, that we draw into. Zoe, where are you? There you are. They really like frostbiting my round one, Zoe. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Discard Sunforger for the content. Come on, chase me. Wow. Dang. All right, chill. Ew. Shining gifts from the sky. All right, so we're back to thirty. Kind of need to get one of these spiral stairs in play. Great. Hold my work. Mm. Oh, this is Sejuani. This is a boss fight. Yeah, I can take the damage. I'm going to heal five of it back anyway with the Sunforger. Alright, slow him down. So much for healing five of that back again. <laughs> so much for that. Did I take Moon Silver? I don't think I did. Actually, it's probably just Trickster. So Zoe's at six. If I play Trickster as the tenth, then we can give everything else elusive. Whoa, what's up, Malphite? Oh no, I don't. No, 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 no. What do we? No. Don't be rude. Leave nothing standing. No. Poor Zoe. All right, we about to make big Malphite. What? Oh, what's that for? Sometimes you just gotta play stuff to play stuff, you know what I mean? Survivors. Why 
Not gonna lie, I wasn't really paying attention. I did not realize that thing was a 5-6. I really did not know that was a 5-6. That's kind of my bad right there. I still feel pretty good about winning this. Said Tuani in hand is just another Fury of the North. So that's just their entire hand. Fury of the North doesn't do anything. And that will be game. Moving on to Piltover and Zaun. Let's get another power. It's exciting. This is definitely a very good run so far. Dex looking very good. We got pretty fortunate with the Zoe. Round start rally. Wow. Good attack. Raise my health to the power. We don't need that one. Round start summon a, a hibernating rock bear, which I guess that could help out for the um, landmark stuff. When an ally landmark counts down to zero, create a hibernating rock bar. That's not how you say that. Hibernating rock bear in hand. I'm just going to take round start rally. Because I'm. Basically, why I want Round Star Rally is we have Zoe. I want Zoe Round Star Rally together. Um, yeah, that sounds good. All right, so we can give Zoe Fury plus two plus zero or Spell Shield. I think Spell Shield probably pretty important against Piltover and Zon stuff. Let's go with that. Yeah, we could have Unstoppable Force every round. So yeah, the reason why I don't want to pull to pickaxe the Zoe with the plus two plus zero is um, because they're playing all of the um, Stonebreaker's not bad. They're playing like, you know, like get excited and stuff like that. Like they're playing some easy ways to kill Zoe. I wish we had a challenger. I think this is going to be our toughest round from here on out. I think we got good tools against the other decks, but yeah, this is looking like a very good start for them. Maybe not so great start for me, even though I'd round one Zoe. That frostbite coming in clutch, though. All right, cool. Because I was really worried about like finding a way to kill this Professor Von Yep, and we were able to do it. Very important. So now I feel great about this game. Oh, I had a round start rally. Like I didn't even attack. What I? I'm just wasting this power that I just I forgot that we had. As I'm talking about other stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to stop talking and playing. <laughs> So I like talking and playing stuff sometimes. Okay, this was slightly embarrassing. Okay, back to it. Yeah. Shining gifts from the sky. Alright, they took down Zoe. I'm just gonna go with the cost reduction instead of getting a brand new um, super cool star chart. Okay. 
That's actually kind of a problem. That's kind of a problem. Okay. Relaxing now. I messed up a couple of turns, but yeah, having Round Star Rally with these Sunforgers does sound pretty sweet. Really? You can't hear us? Unfortunately, I can't stomp. Can't stop that from happening, because this is only stun an enemy, deal three to it. I can't stun my own chip and deal three to it. Be fine. All right, let's get a special card. So let's give this plus one plus one in spell shield. That's number five. We're gonna be just fine. Definitely not the messenger <laughs> for this matchup. Um, I guess I don't have room for the second spiral stairs, but oh well. I'll just get the countdown started. All right, so we're at eight. sure what I want to play. So Malphite's number nine. Still need to play one more card, then Zoe levels up, then I play Sunforger. But like, it, Sunforger also has to be Daybreak to get the lifesteal. It's fine with me. Uh, I can't really like give everything life steal. I guess I'm at 28. I guess I'm at 28. So he's nine. But I've already I've already played Solari Sunforgers. I guess maybe I haven't played a Sunforger since that Zoe came into play. Maybe not, actually. Actually, I didn't think about that. Maybe I had it. But it's alright. I guess we'll just be at 28. Okay, we got two two rounds left. Yeah, I, I understand how Zoe works, Trusty Noodle. I understand, but I I I need to get to ten because I thought I already I thought I had already played a Sunforger, which is why I wanted to get an additional one. Like that's why I couldn't like Sunforger wasn't going to be number ten. I didn't think, but I, I could have been wrong about that. Okay, so I think I'm just going to take another Sunforger. 
Yeah. I think I'll just take another Sunforger. That'll be my fourth copy. That's okay. We can play four of these. This card seems pretty good. You would reroll that? I really, you know, like, if I could choose, I would hit Zoe, right? Like, we would want to get a reinforcement on Zoe. But, some Forger ain't bad. Guard bots. Do I want you Blue Sentinel versus Guard bots? Nah. Okay, this round start rally is actually pretty silly with our deck. Can we stabilize V Heimer though? Yeah, that card's good. Basically taking that thing because it costs zero. I was planning on having my 2-1 block the 5-1. But I guess that's what... Am I just, I'm just never doing the round star rally, am I? I need to do that more. I was planning on have, playing the Solaris Unforger. Yeah, I forgot. Alright, won't forget this time. Probably. Just Equinox that thing. Get that out of here. I'm on it. Another Serpent. I think a Serpent could have got that thing out of here. No. So that's number six. Sixteen. These, these just aren't very good options. <laughs> uh, Moon Glow is the cheapest one that I haven't played yet. Seven. Basically, just buffing up the charger so the charger can block these three-one fearsomes. Excuse me. We went as long as we could without. Um, yet. Uh, without trying to kill anything and, you know, keeping their board clear. Went as long as we could with that.
Yeah, so we really didn't I didn't I didn't do a good job of drawing my Solari Sunforgers, right, to be able to heal my Nexus too much. Alright, we'll give all these all these things tough. Oh yeah, you're not leveled up, Malphite. Right. You kinda need to be leveled up. I already have Falling Comet in my hand with Sunburst. I don't really need another Falling Comet. And again, this just keeps them from getting the T-Hexes by not killing stuff. That doesn't kill that. We're good there. Let's give everything Overwhelm. Alright, you block there. I guess, sure, I don't have a good block. Oh, that thing has Overwhelm? Alright, you're getting stunned. And now... Hmm. Yeah, we have re I have really not played a landmark game this time. not done a landmark game. But they're all elusive. That's basically like stunning all of the opponent's units, right? Just having them all elusive. So it's kind of like we had leveled up Maokai. Okay, but I only have 11 life. That was a rough one. That was a rough one. Only 11 life. I, I, did I skip the rally attack again? I am not. I am not really focused on that, am I? Okay, we can do better than this. These are yeah. This is the very last reinforcement we get. We get two re rolls. We can do better than those cards. We can do better than these cards. Okay, so chip with challenger or five mana malphite. Against Victor, I guess, like, Chip with Challenger can help clear the board of stuff. You liked Spacey Draw 1? I could see Spacey Draw 1 doing the thing. I think I'm going to go 5 mana Malphite. Yeah, I think that should be a good blocker. Like, coming down kind of like whenever they're playing, especially how I start with an additional mana. So it's really like round four I get to cast Malphite now. So like round four they cast Victor, I can cast Malphite. That should be a very good blocker for Victor. All right, we'll keep you though. Hmm. We just want Zoe and Solari Sunforger. All right, there's Zoe. I am actually considering playing the Star Tip Peak for mana purposes over Zoe. No, it can't be that. All right, we want Solari Sunforger. There we go. That's the card I wanted. So Alright, I kinda need a blocker. Oh yeah, I can't ca I can't cast the double stun. Alright, you're my blocker. It's one additional life to get damage in on this thing. That's 
I think being a 4-6 is annoying. Spell shield. Coming in clutch. Alright, back to 12. Man, this is going to be close. I feel like I should trade Zoe away. Alright, I got another... I, got a, I do have a backup Zoe. Yep, I'm sorry, Zoe. Alright, it should be we should be good from here. Should be good from here. Nap time. That probably wasn't even necessary. Well, I wanted to do it. No zero mana card either time. Looks like we got it. Our legendary run with Malphite and just a tiny bit of Zoe. Mostly Malphite. We haven't cast a double sunburst yet. I'm going to remedy that. We're going to cast double sunburst. Just to say we, we cast double on burst. We didn't do that a single time. So it was definitely unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, it was all it was all malfight. I mean, look at malfight. Malphite kill the victor. We are zero out of out of ten. Look, Malphite's doing lethal damage. And there we go. That's the legendary lab run with Malphite. So Malphite, a lot of it is about the your secondary champion. I had some really good success with Soraka with Malphite before. Uh, we saw this one, of course, was with Zoe, but like whenever I was doing the other ones to get to the legendary mode, um, I really liked Soraka. I liked Nocturne, as I talked about um, whenever we chose the Zoe. Nocturne was good, too. I think I think my three runs, I think I only used Nocturne and Soraka. I think those were the only other two champions that I used. Uh, but I think Mana Flow is very important for this, uh, for this champion, especially early on, getting like Star Tip Peak and Blue Sentinel being able to play these round one. I think that that's really, really necessary. And then you just try to find a couple other um, keywords that you like. I really like the the keyword like if if you get or uh, powers if you get like little buddies that or anything that puts like free units in play. I I was using the there's a power that puts two elite vanguards into play. I use that one a lot, and I also used um, the power that gives you a free every every unit you summon gets a free keyword, and I thought that that one, that power was super powerful. Um, getting free keywords on everything. So with my other runs with Malphite, those are the kind of th uh, things that I was using. Um, you know, so that, that can give you some more ideas to try to help you out if, if you're not lucky enough to get Zoe <laughs> for your other champion. Um, but yeah, Zoe did great in the Solari Sunforger. Like, finding ways to get lifesteal is always really, really important with Malphite. And that's why the, the, um, the power that gives you more keywords because you can get lifesteal on a lot of stuff. And so that's why that's so important um, because you're going to be playing like these longer games. And so finding ways to heal your Nexus without, without having like the, like the, there's the power that's like round, round start heal or like game start, heal your Nexus for 10. And I just, I don't really like that power because it, that's all it does is like, it doesn't like help you win the game or anything, right? It, it does heal your Nexus, but try to find ways to heal your Nexus 
incidentally like maybe find cards that have the heal your nexus 3 attached to it like that's okay or you know find lifesteal units or find ways to get lifesteal on your cards that kind of stuff i i like all of those more than just heal your nexus 10. um so there we go that's that's malphite malphite down all right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. If you're struggling, let me know how you're struggling, or you know, if you got any questions, anything that I can help you with with these labs. Um, I, you know, try to help you. Or if you if you have questions like you know what's better, this power or this power, or you know this you know this card, this card, you know anything like that, feel free to leave those comments. And, I'll, and as soon as I see them, I will uh, respond. We'll keep on doing this with the other champions. And I'll have a run up with each champion on legendary mode. So also in the comment section, you can let me know which champion you want to see next. I'm probably thinking of, um, you know, whenever I did Zillion first, y'all asked for Malphite. So I was thinking about just finishing off these champions. I know we, we kind of did Fizz, but it was with like a whole bunch of other stuff. I was going to do just a new, a new Fizz run. Um, but I was thinking of finishing out those, the new champions first and then, and then moving back on to the older champions and do one of each of those. All right, but that's going to be it here for our Lab of Legends Legendary Run with Malphite. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. It's always a lot of fun playing these Lab of Legends. It really is. And so I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as it is to play. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.